All right, this tutorial is going to um, assist with assignment 6.6, .6, which is the home learning from um, Proving Triangle Similar. Um, in case you missed the previous uh, video, I covered the notes and in the introduction. So this one is just going to help with uh, each of the homework problems. Um, just needed to do the odd problems on here. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to determine if they are similar. And if they're similar, we're going to say how. So we'd either write AA, SSS, or SAS. If they are similar, we would then write the similarity statement, okay? Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you match them up correctly. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Um, so there's number one, okay? So as you can see, we're gonna match the small sides up and the large sides up. So we could have, these could be similar because we have the two angles or two sides and the angles between. So we'd have three over nine equals five over 15. So what you would do is reduce these two right there. If they're gonna, if you reduce them and they're equal, then this is gonna be similar. And then you would write down which one of those it's gonna be. Remember AA is if two angles are congruent. SSS is if all three sides are congruent. And SAS is if two sides are, con are uh, proportional. I mean, let me backtrack a minute. SSS is if all three sides are proportional. SAS is if two sides are proportional and the angle between. So you can see sides, angle between. So which one that one might be if it is similar. Okay, here, okay, so you need to recognize that these are vertical angles. Okay, so we know that this is gonna be 42. Okay, so now what we would do is we would 180 minus 53 minus 42. Okay, so you would subtract these from 180, and whatever your answer is, it would need to equal 85 in order for um, this angle to be congruent to, to this one, and then in order for them to be um, ultimately similar, because these are congruent, um, that this one would have to be 85 for that one to be 85. If they're not, it's gonna be no, okay? Number five, okay, parallel lines are always a little bit tricky. Um, in this case, we've got two parallel lines here, so what that means is this is gonna be congruent to this angle, because there are corresponding angles, and then because of these parallel lines, that angle is congruent to that angle, okay? So that should give you the answer there. Okay, over here, we've got these two right here, 90, so we know that this minus, this subtract 61 from 90 will give us this angle, so that would need to equal this angle, so we would do 90 minus 61. Whatever answer we get, if it's congruent to that, then these two are gonna be um, similar, okay? So again, um, make sure I'm not solving these all the way th through. You would need to finish this part and then write AA, SSS, SAS, and then the similarity statement if they indeed are similar, okay? Number nine, so we're just gonna order them. So small and large, so we've got small, so 25 is gonna go over 35. 30 over 30 over 42, there's no re reason to write it twice, so we would reduce these. If once we reduce, they end up being um, equal to each other, then that would be side, side, side. Okay, here, we've got angle, angle, okay, and then we've got side and side. Now here's the deal. Remember, it's got to be the two sides and the angle between them, okay? So we've got two sides here. There's no parallel marks. If these were parallel right here, we'd know that this is congruent to that, but they're not parallel, so we don't know, okay? So we can't assume by the way they look. So since these right here are the sides, and this angle would need to be the angle right here, and this angle would mean that since they're not congruent, or since this isn't the angle that's marked, there's no reason to even work this one out. We can tell that this one's going to be no, okay? You can stop there. Here again, we're gonna make small, so the smallest is 18, 18 over 40.5, <clears throat> 22 over 49.5, and, and 24 over 54, okay? So we would um, reduce all of those. If they're all equal, they're gonna be proportional, and that means that that would be a similar. Here, um, we don't have any, only thing marked, we have this and this, okay? So we would need to make 45 over 60, 54 over 64, okay? If these reduce to be um, the same number, we would have SAS, okay? So finish that one. And here, um, this one I suggest uh, rewriting. Now, you're gonna have to do a little 
Since that's 93, we need to figure this angle out right here. Um, let's, let's see if we can figure this out. Um, let's tell you what, let's rewrite this. So I'm rewriting the smaller ink triangle and there's the bigger triangle. Okay, so we know that this is 62 and 62. We know that that's 31. Now we know that we can figure this out by doing 180 minus 93. So 180 minus 93 is gonna be 87. So we know that this is 87 right there. Okay, now at this point we can um, subtract 180 minus 87 minus 62. Whatever answer we get, if it equals 31, then they're gonna be all three angles are going to be congruent. So if this equals 31, it would be SAA, and then you need to write the similarity statement. All right, and that's it.